Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, we're going to be talking about value propositions and uh, the importance of them and how to create a value proposition for your brand. Um, value propositions, they're designed to tell, communicate even to your audience about uh, what you do as a brand, okay? What, what you sell is, is delivering a certain outcome, okay? It's, it's taking away a problem, a pain point that people are experiencing, your audience are experiencing, and it's delivering on, say, maybe a pleasure point as well, okay? So you, your value proposition needs to kind of communicate that on the likes of your homepage, social medias, all that kind of stuff, so people can actually understand when they land, especially people who are cold uh, audiences who've never heard of your brand um, before, and they land on your site or your social media, they want to, you have to make it very sort of easy to understand why you're in business, what point of difference you're trying to bring to the marketplace, what like uh, what solutions you bring into the marketplace and, and, and sort of problems that you're tackling in order to take away that sort of discomfort that people are having and, you know, delivering on a, on a, on a, a kind of a positive transformation where there's, um, you know, a, a positive end result. So that's kind of it. <clears throat> you know, value propositions are not like, you know, um, sale, um, you know, discounts, uh, all that kind of good stuff. It's 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 you you kind of have to look at it from a deeper point of view and just say, you know, it, your 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 value proposition could be helping um, a, a certain target market with a, an issue with their skin, facial facial uh, problems with skin, and uh, of course you are the solution uh, to that problem. So you have to sort of demonstrate that, and you do you do that through sort of um, through you know like a, a headline, say for example, on your on your homepage. But anyway, look. Without further ado, we'll just uh, we'll hop into this presentation. We'll we'll take a look, and uh, it'll explain how you uh, create a value proposition. Now, uh, I've been reviewing a lot of websites in recent times, and I'm coming across a common theme. With so many businesses online, it's never been more important to show your target audience the type of value proposition you deliver as a business. So, if you don't have a clear understanding of the value you provide, you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. And it's likely that everything from your site design to your positioning and marketing will suffer as a consequence. So when your target market visits your homepage, you need to communicate and engage with them uh, sort of the value you're delivering on, okay? So some of the questions you need to be able to answer are things like, so questions like, what are, what are problems you are solving or desired outcomes your brand can deliver on to your target market? Uh, what are the pain points uh, you're trying to take away uh, with, you know, the products that you're actually selling? Uh, what pleasure points are you looking to deliver on? How is your solution making a positive difference to your target market? And what is the transformation and desired outcome your brand offers uh, for the marketplace? So your value proposition needs to address these types of questions. In doing so, you communicate to your audience on a deeper, more kind of like emotional level addressing their wants, needs, concerns, any fears they have, that kind of thing. So it's not about telling people how great you are when they first land on your homepage and explaining like, look, we've been in 10, we've been, we've been in business for 10 years. And, you know, talking about all this sort of ego, egocentric driven uh, from, you know, egocentric driven communication from the brand. Um, that's that's that has its place, but n not in a kind of a value proposition. It's it, it's about addressing your visitors, you know, concerns, wants, needs, desires, desired outcomes, problems that they have, uh, you know, emotional pain points that they have, or pleasure that they're looking to sort of, um, you know, have in their life. And your brand, your your offers, your products are going to do that for them. So that's what you need to do to start off that sort of engagement and communication. Now, um, you, you need to be engaging with your target market about how you as a solution are able to eradicate pain, deliver pleasure, and make a transformation, a positive transformation in people's lives. So in today's presentation, I wanna address the idea of how you can create a value proposition for your brand. Now, in practical terms, your value proposition will be expressed as a simple statement describing which problems your brand solves, positioning yourself against the competition, and highlighting kind of key features that drive desired outcomes um, for the people that you're looking to serve, okay? So if you take a look at Etsy, for example, um, they provide an opportunity for customers to buy handmade products. And one of the major complaints in the e-com space is that mass-made products uh, lack the personal touch and specialness of 
you know, handmade products. So by providing a marketplace that connects buyers with artisan sellers, it, it provides a, a neat solution to, to this problem. So what to include in your value proposition? Let's talk about what you should be including in your value proposition. So one is address your value and evoke emotions and feelings. So talk about the pain points you are taking away for your visitors on the main problem you solve and address the pleasure points you as a brand uh, are delivering on. So it's kind of, they're, they're looking to, any, anyone that's sort of looking to solve a problem is maybe sort of in pain or they, they're looking for a more enhanced kind of outcome. So they're looking for a kind of a feeling of satisfaction, okay, in some way. It's, it's going to address, it's going to evoke, uh, you know, positive uh, change, okay, and, and, and unearth a kind of a, a feeling of pleasure, all right? So they're the kind of things your value proposition needs to sort of incorporate, okay? Um, so if you look at it from, you know, problem, you know, you have a pain and pleasure point, you're looking to tra make that transformation. This is what your brand is going to do. It's going to take away a, a, a pain or, you know, deliver a certain um, pleasure point or pleasure points. Okay. And this transformation then is going to have, it's going to offer them the, desi the uh, desired outcome that, um, you know, the target market wants. Okay. So uh, you want to communicate that by having your target audience uh, do business with your brand and they will receive positive transformation and, you know, end results that are, are desirable to them and, and their goals. So desired outcomes evoke uh, feelings of pleasure. So try to communicate that um, as part of your, your value proposition. Now, continuing on from that, um, include a clear, unique selling proposition. So the benefit or benefits of your USP provides to your target market, um, uh, you know, holds merit, real merit in, in, your, in your value proposition. So try to include at least one USP that sets you apart from, you know, the likes of your competition. Um, number three would be make it clear and obvious. So when a, a potential customer sees your value proposition, they should instantly think, yes, that's exactly what I want. Uh, don't overcomplicate it. Um, your, your value proposition should be uh, simple, clear, and, you know, really sort of immediately resonates with your, uh, with your audience. And following up from that then, try to be unique. You know, being, being unique can sometimes be a challenge for brands. Not always uh, an easy thing to differentiate uh, yourself from if you are in, say, a crowded marketplace, but with, with many other brands being able to sort of offer, you know, the same benefits basically, right? So what you can do is have a, a mix of different benefits that drive a, a, a uniqueness for your, your brand in particular. So this will help to set uh, you apart from the actual competition. So question you need to ask really is what, what, what do you offer uh, that other retailers uh, don't. So where do you communicate your value proposition? You know, your value proposition can be communicated in various places throughout your, your brand's entire ecosystem and design. Um, you know, from, from the shopping platform and, and your social media content. So the, the areas your prospects and customers need to see your value proposition are places like your website, so from your homepage to your, your website header, uh, product pages on, uh, the, uh, on the actual, sh say, shopping cart or, or checkout funnel, your value proposition should be uh, easily noticeable. Um, convey your value proposition um, across the whole customer journey, okay? So, you know, for example, from, you know, the likes of your product pages into your shopping cart, into your checkout and, and, and so on and so forth until they complete the order. Okay, and even like even the aftercare as well, the sort of follow up emails that, that come with that too. Okay, uh, your social media as well, uh, from your posts to your stories, your live videos, etc. Your content gives uh, gives you an opportunity to show off your your value proposition, so so that your your audience is you know easily reminded of the type of uh, value and um, point of difference you are you're trying to deliver to the marketplace. So continuing on from that about where you communicate your value proposition. So another way you could do this, of course, is through your email marketing and emailing your, your prospects and customers is a huge element of driving more engagement and sales for your brand. So using email, you can showcase your value proposition in your communication and help your audience to understand the value of your brand and, and keep reiterating this every time that they open up an email. This could also be very true for the likes of like a chatbot if you're, if you're using it as well. 
Okay, but there's ways that you can definitely commun um, communicate your, your value proposition and you know these four here are, are pretty solid. So to conclude, uh, hopefully now after digesting this content, you can see the importance of having a value proposition and making sure you, you actually communicate it through your brand's website, social media, email marketing, just like we spoke about before, okay? A great value proposition gives your prospects and customers a, a reason to shop with your brand, you know, refer friends and, and essentially keep them coming back, right? And, uh, you know, consider it as a hook that, that reels your, your visitors into your ecosystem, your brand's ecosystem, and sets the tone for the value exchange that you, that you want to offer, okay? And this is sort of like turning cold prospects and nurturing them into brand advocates, which is, you know, the real goal, okay? So whether you're a startup e-com store or a brand that has somewhat established themselves in their marketplace, um, be sure to craft a value proposition that gets your, your audience's attention and gives them that feeling they desire when, when it comes to acquiring their wants, needs, and desires. All right, guys, so that is the end of the video. Um, fairly uh, self-explanatory, the, the whole presentation, okay? Um, we talked about things like what to include in your value proposition. So, you know, again, we were addressing the idea of like, you know, what, what sort of problems are you taking away for, for um, people in the marketplace? What pain are you taking away? What pleasure you might be uh, driving? Um, talking about transformations, okay? And, um, you know, desired outcomes that people want. What is the end result? That, what is the end goal that people are looking for, okay? And how, how, are you, how you as a brand are actually able to deliver on that. So, for example, if somebody is, uh, you know, looking to sort of dress well for an occasion and they're female, then uh, your products are designed to sort of uh, create that sort of desired need, isn't it? So that's what you need to communicate, you know, on the likes of your homepage. So when people land on it for the first time, they understand, okay, this is for me because I am looking for this result. Therefore, this brand here is able to sort of, um, you know, deliver on what I'm looking for. At least this is what they're saying. So you engage me straight away. I can see the value in what you're trying to do. So... I am more interested then to actually kind of dive further into your actual brand and see what you guys have to offer. So that will be an example, okay? And in terms of communicating your value proposition as well, you know, you do this through your homepage, uh, you know, at the very top, for example, you'd be doing this in text, knocking off some benefits as well and reasons why you're different from competition and all that kind of stuff, any sort of unique selling, propos uh, selling points. Um, you can even do this through video as well, which is very effective as well. So people, you can actually almost tell a story about how you are, you know, you know, delivering on a, on an end result essentially. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, the communication wise as well. Sorry, you can do this through social media, and you can also do it through your email as well, and various parts of your uh, website, not just the homepage, but um, you can do it on on your header sections as well, at the very top of each page. And of course, it's very important as well too, when people are, um, they see a, a product, an offer that is going to deliver uh, a need that they, you know, that they want, um, that you then can actually, you know, kind of reinforce your value proposition down your sales funnel, down your sales process, which is basically a product page, landing into shopping cart, initiating checkout, completing the purchase, that kind of thing. Even emails as well, the follow-up emails that come in afterwards, the the, the post-order uh, uh, emails, if you want to call them, all right? So it's good to be kind of demonstrating your value proposition and letting people know, like, you, you have, um, you're, able, you're able to sort of serve them basically for the needs that they, you know, that they're looking to acquire. So that's it. Hope it was helpful today, guys. Thanks again for tuning in, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.